गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स कल हमने आपसे बात की थी कॉजेज ऑफ सक्सेस ऑफ इंसेक्ट ऑन अर्थ के कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स की आज हम उसी को कंटिन्यू करेंगे और जो रिमेनिंग पार्ट है उसके बारे में बात करेंगे हमने बताया था कौन कौन से ऐसे करेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं कौन कौन से ऐसे एडप्टिशन हैं कौन कौन से ऐसे फीचर्स हैं जिनकी वजह से इंसेक्ट अर्थ पर मोस्ट सक्सेसफुली सरवाइव कर पाते हैं उनमें हमने बात कही थी एक्जो स्कलेटन स्मॉल बॉडी साइज द एबिलिटी टू फ्लाई ए हाई रिप्रोडक्टिव पोटेंशियल कंप्लीट मेटामोरफोसिस एंड एडेप्टिबिलिटी इन एन एवर चेंजिंग एनवायरमेंट दीज आर दैक्टर्स अमंग दैम एक्सोस्लेटन स्मॉल बॉडी साइज एंड एबिलिटी ऑफ टू फ्लाइट इनके बारे में हम बात कर चुके थे आपसे आगे हम बात करेंगे रिप्रोडक्टिव पोटेंशियल Reproductive success is one of the most significant measures of an organism's fitness. In insect populations, females often produce large number of eggs, means high fecundity. Most of the eggs hatched means high fertility, and the life cycle is relatively short. often as little as 2 to 4 weeks together these three characteristics enable insect to produce remarkable large number of offspring aur jab large number of offspring rahengi aur to unme se chahe kitni adverse condition ho कुछ तो सरवाइव करेंगे ए टिपिकल फीमेल ले 100 टू 500 एग्स इन हर लाइफ टाइम बट नंबर ऑफ द थाउजेंड्स आर नॉट अनकॉमन द क्वीन ऑफ एन अफ्रीकन टर्माइट कॉलोनी मे बी द मदर ऑफ मोर देन 10 मिलियन वर्कर्स ड्यूरिंग हर 20 टू 25 ईयर life span Anton van Leeuwenhoek a Dutch scientist who first discovered the single celled organism was probably the first person to comprehend the reproductive potential of insect in 1687 he reared blow flies on a diet of all meat and found that females produce an in average 144 progeny half male half female using this data and assuming no mortality he calculated that a single pair of fly could give rise to 10368 of springs in the third generation and 746496 in the fourth 357 hmm. 5 crore 37 lakh सैतालीस हजार सात सौ बारह इन फिफ्थ जनरेशन और इसी तरह से ये सिक्स जनरेशन की जब ये कैलकुलेशन तब हैं जब मोर्टिलिटी ना हो एट दिस रेट द फ्लाई पॉपुलेशन वुड ग्रो टू मोर देन वन इन टू 
10 to the power 17 individuals in a year in 10 generation in two years of continuous reproduction the flies would fill a ball nearly 8 million kilometers in a diameter calculations like this are completely unrealistic because they ignore all the limiting factors like food supply traditions climate and disease aisa hota nahi hai ki sab cheez favorable rahe that keep natural population in check but the number to illustrate how quickly in check populations can grow and they help explain why pest outbreak often seems to develop so suddenly since most insects die before they ever have an opportunity to reproduce a high a high reproductive potential is a species best chance of survival many adaptations help maximize this potential most females for example they store sperms for months or years within the spermatica a special region of the reproductive system a single mating can supply a female with enough sperms to fertilize all the eggs she will produce in her lifetime and an unbalanced sex ratio where females outnumber males is another way to maximize reproductive potential since most insects are not monogamous a few males can supply sperms for a large number of females and finally there are many species for example aphid scale insect thrips and bees where males are entirely absent all members of the population are female and contribute offsprings through a process of asexual reproduction like parthenogenesis is a kind of reproduction metamorphosis most insect, most insects undergo significant developmental changes as they grow from immature to adult these changes collectively known as metamorphosis may involve physical biochemical or behavioral alterations that promote survival dispersal and reproduction of the species in the more primitive insect most of these changes occurs gradually as the animal matures organs of organs of reproduction and fly develop incrementally during the immature stage and becomes functional only in adults since this transformation process is slow and does not include all body tissues in complete metamorphosis the immatures and adults share many characteristics they often live in similar habitats and feed on similar type of food more advanced insect however undergo a complete metamorphosis a dramatic transformation in form and function between the immature larval and adult stages of development in these insects the larva is primarily adapted for feeding and growth it assimilates energy reserves which in some cases will sustain the insect for the rest of its life when fully grown a larva molds into a transitional stage called the pupa and begins a period of massive internal 
and external recovery reorganization body organs and tissues encoded by larval dna are disassembled and rebuilt according to the second dna blueprint that had been repressed during larval life an adult insect imago eventually emerges from within the pupal exoskeleton bearing little or no resemblance to its larval form its primary function is dispersal and reproduction in the class insecta only 9 out of 28 orders undergo complete metamorphosis yet these 9 orders represent about 86 of all insect species alive today the obvious advantage of this type of development lies in that compartmentalization of the life cycle through natural selection larva larval forms and functions can be optimized for growth and feeding without compromising adaptations of the adult for dispersal and reproduction each stage of the life cycle is entirely free to adapt to its own ecological role in some cases this means that immature and adults may consume different type of foods exploit different environmental resources and even occupy different habitats the adaptability a combination of large and diverse population high productive potential and relatively short life cycles has equipped most insect with the genetic resources to adapt quickly quickly in the face of a changing environment their record to achievement is impressive they were among the first creature in to invade the arid expanses of dry land and exploit green plants as a source of food they were the first animals to use flight as an escape from predators and they were the first organism to develop a complex social hierarchy with division of labor and cooperative care of the young as a group they have endured 400 billion years of climatological and geophysical upheaval including the evaporation of inland seas formation of mountain range shift in continental plates on set of ice age and the fallout from cosmic impacts adaptation is an ongoing process populations must continually populations must continually change as new resources appear and old ones disappear just within the few thousand years since humans began roaming in earth roaming the earth insects have acquired a taste for new products that would never be a part of their natural environment that is glue and wallpaper paste paste book built binding cardboards paint brushes stained leather products the corks of wine bottles mummies the stuffed museum the space mains chocolate ginger yeast cake tobacco pepper and even potent drug like marijuana and opium
the powder post beetle made itself a nuisance by again naving holes through the lead sheet around telephone and telegraph cables. Once inside the cable, these short circuit beetles add the fiber insulator around the copper conductor. After enough insulation was gone, the wire could touch the lead seat and create a short circuit in the light. The high cost of replacing damaged cables eventually forced the telecom company to develop non fibrous insulators for their long distance cables. Perhaps the most remarkable example of insect adaptation in this century has been the speed with which past populations have developed resistance to a broad range of chemical and biological insecticides. After World War II, public health officials in the United States made a concerned trade effort to eradicate the house fly Musca domestica with BB. For several years, the campaign seemed promising. Fly population decreased and optim optimism ran high. But a few resistant flies managed to survive because they were endowed with an enzyme that could detoxify DDT. These survivors reproduced and passed this resistant trait to their offspring. In time, DDT resistant flies populated their environment and the species now appearing appears to be living happily after ever after. Significant level of pesticide resistance have now been reported in over 500 insect species and many of these insects are resistant to compound from more than one chemical family in newer and I, for example potato growers on long Iceland must cough with population of the chlorido potato beetle that is resistant not only for the organophosphate carbamates and synthetic pyrethroid but also to some of the insect growth regulators and microbial insecticides. This is all about the causes of success. These are the causes, six points of the success of the insect on this planet. These are exoskeleton, which covers the entire body, body size, small body size, ability to fly, avoid the predators, a high reproductive potential, large number of offsprings are produced by a female, parthenogenetically reproduced, asexually reproduced. This is the cause of success. Complete metamorphosis, where the egg, larva, pupa, and adult, these forms are present in complete metamorphosis, so they can protect themselves in any one of these intermediate states. Adaptability, so various kinds of adaptability, adaptivity uh, characters are studied here. So this is all about the causes of success of insects on the on this planet or on the earth thank you very much thank you